All right, I want to show you how to change your WordPress theme. Uh, we've got a new installation of WordPress with the default theme, and uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Here's the login page, so you put your username and password in there, and that'll take you to the dashboard. All right, and then I usually uh, open another tab with the um, home page or the visible website in it so that I can flip back and forth from the dashboard to the website and check my work. So this is the default theme. You can see uh, it's got the blog on the home page by default, which you can change if you want to. And you can click on the nav in the sidebar to go to the about page, which is the default page. So you've got posts and pages. And we're going to go get a new theme. Um, this, this theme is the default theme that comes installed with WordPress. Okay, So I'm going to change that. You go to Appearance Themes. And you can see here's the current theme. OK, that's, that's the default that comes with it. There's one more installed called the Classic, um, which I typically don't use. And so I like to just go ahead and delete it, which you can do from right here. Uh, let's do that. I get a confirmation say yeah go ahead won't be needing that one and if you want to add a new theme then you have to go and get it from somewhere else so click on add new themes and here's the new uh, install theme section of the dashboard where you can browse around for different themes uh, all of these themes are free okay so any theme that you're going to find and be able to uh, look at from within the dashboard is a free theme um, there are options up here uh, with the exception of upload, which we'll use in a second. Um, and these all allow you to browse through different selections of themes. Featured, newest, you can see there's all kinds here. Pretty cool. Some are rated PG and some are not. Uh, some are PG-13. Um, here's a recently updated. Okay, so you can check that out yourself. Now, a search is going to allow you to select a bunch of different criteria and then click on uh, search here, find themes, say I want a holiday theme. There are all the holiday uh, themes to choose from. Okay, so let's pick one of these. All right, um, if I click on it, I'm going to see a preview, which means it's going to load my blog into this theme so that I can see what it looks like and I can you know, actually use the navigation and everything right in this window. That's the preview. Okay, if I decide, yeah, that looks good, I want to install it, then just click on install. Okay, and then you have to click install now. And there we go, it's done. Okay, so if I now go back, well, I can activate it from right here if I want to, um, or I can preview the theme again just to make sure that's what I want. Okay, that's that's the whole theme. And I can click Activate. And now that is my theme for my blog. So if I go back out here to the home page and refresh, it's actually the About page, then you can see I've now got my new theme on. Pretty cool. Okay, so that's grabbing a theme from within the dashboard. Um, the other way to go is back in the themes panel. If you go to add new themes and click on upload, okay, now you can go and browse off of your computer for a file. It's going to go look in there. Um, I just got a copy of WP Remix. So let's see how well that works. So I just Go find it on my computer. You know, put it somewhere you can remember when you when you buy it, or um, you can also get free themes off the web. Um, save them to your computer, and then go to upload on the install and select them, and then click install now. The WP Remix theme is is a premium theme. It costs about seventy five dollars, something like that, and. Uh, it's taking a while to install because it's a pretty heavy duty theme. It's got all kinds of pages. Okay. Well, never mind that one. I got an error. 
So let's go try a different one. Uh, it is possible to run into an error when you are uploading through the dashboard. So I might have to go back and do that using FTP. Uh, but for illustration purposes, let's go find another theme here. Grab one that's that's zipped, okay. Pixeled. Grab that, install. There, that was a little more uh, successful. Now I can preview it. There's that theme, what it looks like, okay. Looks pretty good. And if I activate, that is now my current theme. So if I go back out here, refresh that page, and boom, that's selecting a theme from your computer. Make sure it's a .zip file and uploading and activating from within the dashboard.